Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. It's uh, late August and um, the result is in on the seaweed potato bed. And um, I'm not impressed, I must say, but we will uh, see how many potatoes are underneath this, uh, the, the dead sort of potato plants. And, um, and just, uh, yeah, well, make a verdict. Is this a good plan or not? I will say that this has been the strangest of summers and uh, I'm trying not to be uh, too spooked about it, but we've had six weeks of intense drought in the beginning of the summer and I didn't water this bed more than once. Maybe I should have. That's, uh, that's one thing to consider. And then we've had the rainiest, wettest, <laughs> coldest July. Uh, so actually I read the other day that uh, we've had 29 days without a summer day. So it hasn't been very warm. And maybe that's also part of why this bed did the way it did. I'm sure it is. So it's it's always uh, it's always hard to tell um what is what and why it is but um those are some of the conditions that we've had to work with this uh, this summer um i have liked the bed i have liked the look of it and uh, but now uh, all the potato uh, plants have withered and um i just wanted to pull some up and uh, see how many we can find underneath um, we have had a few, but um, I have not been impressed with the size. It's really strange. You see, these are tiny potatoes, and they have been they have been growing here for quite a while. So this really hasn't worked this year. Um, maybe it's the variety. I am not sure. I will try a different variety next year. Um, but now, I mean, I'm taking them out and this will be <laughs> like lovely in a salad, but it's not like it has been an efficient use of, um, of space, I think, in terms of how many calories we are getting out of these tiny, tiny potatoes. Um, so you can see it really is not a lot and they are tiny. Um, and they won't be growing anymore so i'm i'm sort of reclaiming the bed and maybe maybe i don't know maybe it has been the layer has been too thick or i don't know whenever i have checked it's like um it's like the seaweed is very cold so maybe it has been too dense for the heat to penetrate uh, making the potatoes grow very very slow because they need a little bit of heat at least uh, to grow even if they are not super picky um, <laughs> so this is like not a great result but um, it's worth the experiment and maybe next year if i do exactly the same thing we will have different conditions uh, that will favor great potato harvest i'm not sure but another thing that i have noticed with this garden uh, not this garden but this bed is that i planted a few swiss uh, chard that i had in um, uh, that I had that I didn't have space for in other places because I know that these plants will tolerate some uh, salty conditions and you can see they are looking amazing and we've harvested from these for, for quite a while now and we will still be harvesting until the frost. Um, so <laughs> I will be considering maybe I think I will try potatoes again next year to see what happens maybe with a different uh, couple of varieties but I also really feel like um, making part maybe half of the bed uh, ready for Swiss chard uh, and uh, adding some white ones and adding some orange ones in the mix I think they look powerful and potent and amazing and another thing that's also interesting when you haul 
when you take all of these um, uh, trailers of seaweed you of course you get a lot of seeds from uh, the beach also and as you can see this is actually a, a, a sister of the swiss chart so this is a, like a, a beet a uh, beach beet we call it strand a bill and uh, these are edible too and uh, they have uh, the they have uh, a bit of an intense taste also so i mix it in with the swiss chard and that's perfect also these uh, different kinds of i think they're called atriplex hair uh, so this is a um, this is a family of plants that uh, uh, lots of them are edible and they have been grown as a vegetable uh, earlier on. And also this one is uh, maybe looking more like uh, uh, your uh, average Atriplex uh, Heomelle. Uh, so these are also edible and I'm just finding it interesting that these seeds are in this um, in the bed uh, and in the seaweed and uh, we get uh, it f it's freebies uh, in, a, in a bed like this. So uh, <laughs> that's the sad news of this uh, experiment. I'll do it again next year and we'll check the results again. Thanks for watching and see you later.